welcome back to my channel period so i really don't have no introduction for y'all i just want to get right into the video <laughs> so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i got this look it's my everyday makeup routine well i don't do my face every day but i do it like almost every day <laughs> Like, if I'm about to go out somewhere, if I'm about to go out to eat with my friends, I'm about to go out, I'm going to do my everyday routine. But sometimes I just like how I look on some natural shit. I just took my hair out the bonnet and it's just looking like this. I'm probably going to do my hair after I do my makeup. I'm definitely one of the um, makeup before hair type of gals. What y'all do hair? What y'all do for hair makeup? So, I'm probably about to readjust y'all real quick and we're just gonna get right into the video um this is not a tutorial but i'm gonna be giving you i'm gonna be giving you all like pointers because i just started doing my makeup not too long ago so i'm like the last person to do a tutorial but i also want to record and yeah we're just gonna get right to this video so chit chat get ready with me slash tutorial slash watch me do my makeup and yeah <laughs> but before we get to this video make sure you guys like come subscribe Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow my hair page, and all that good stuff. And now, let's get to it. Okay, so, first of all, it's a mirror in front of me. And I got a, I got a mirror right here, so I'm about to be looking into that too. But I can really hit one of these. Okay, so, first things first is I'm going to take my Fenty um, Toner Serum on my face. First, and just get an even layer of that all around my face because when I do this, I when I use toner instead of um like something like this, a prep spray or whatever you want to call it, a primer, I get a better um like finishing look and it lasts longer when I use toner. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the same thing. Like I said, I don't know nothing about makeup. Like, I've only watched a couple of videos on YouTube before. And I've watched, like... Well, not even a couple. Because when I was growing up, I was so obsessed with different um, makeup artists. Like, that's how I first started watching YouTube. It was mostly makeup videos and hair videos. So... I be meaning to use the big mirror and up close, close as fuck, like right here to do my brows. Cause I need to see everything. It's makeup on my nose. Hold on. Do y'all watch Baddie South? Uh um. Where is my brow pencil? One thing I don't play about is the brow. <laughs> anyways um do y'all watch baddie south i love no i don't take that back i don't love that show but i like drama shows and i loved bad girls club like that was my favorite show i need to get in the habit of looking into the camera and not myself so anyways like i was saying i love that show i can't explain brows just watch me do it um but like unpopular opinion, I don't like Jayla. I loved her on her season. And I mean loved her on her season. Like that was my favorite bad girl. But I feel like she on some groupy shit with Rock. Like I don't know if they been friends or whatever the case may be. Or whatever it is. But I feel like she's like real groupy. And I feel like she be sucking her. Like, I don't know. It's weird. And I feel like she was doing the same thing for real, for real with the Claremont twins on her season. Like, she just wanted to find the person that she felt like was going to have equal power with her. If that makes sense. Like, I don't know. A little unpopular opinion. A lot of people like Jayla. But the more and more I look on my TikTok and stuff, people say that they don't like her. And I don't know if it's just y'all, but I think, I personally think that Rock is not, like, crazy for real. Like, I feel like that their relationship, Blueface and, um, Krishan, I think that their relationship is fake. I think it's for publicity. 
But I could be wrong because, but if she also do a lot of things that make me feel like, bitch, all right, no. Like, the tattoos, the tattoos, that's a little too far. But it ain't no way she this crazy. At least I hope not. But you never know. You never fucking know. Bitches be tripping. And then I don't like Rowley on here. Like, I used to love, like, if y'all seen the Women of Chance season, her seasons, I liked her. Like, I thought she was cool as fuck. She was a little messy. Like, every time, every, y'all, every time Rowley get into it with somebody, she always saying, like, oh, and this bitch was talking about you and blah, 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 blah. Girl, you, like, what the fuck? lock the fuck in like she messy to me but like everybody say that she real or whatever but before you fought that person you was kicking and being fake though like you can bring up how because i feel like if anybody can talk shit about somebody to somebody else like if your friend okay so boom you friends with somebody right and they come up to you and be like, oh, blah, 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 let's talk about you to me. I'm going to be like, well, why the fuck was she talking about you to me? That's weird because if you're supposed to be my friend, they wouldn't even feel comfortable coming in and talking shit. Like, mm, that's weird, period. I don't give a fuck. That's weird as fuck. Like, she's, she's messy. So, I don't know if it's just me, but I'll be mixing my um, concealer and stuff because this is the light ivory la pro girl concealer and it matches my skin tone but at the same time it don't it's a little bit too i'm mixing on this is that ghetto it's a little bit too light so i'm gonna take it like y'all see it's just a, a it's a tad bit too light not even really like hold on let me show y'all y'all see that dot i can even see it it's kind of the same, but it's not. It's a little, it's a little white, a little white. Um, I'm gonna mix it with this foundation color. It's darker, but mixed with um. I mean, not this foundation color, this concealer color, but mixed with this because this is too dark, as y'all can see. But when it's mixed, it's like the perfect shade. I hate concealers that come in tubes like this because, like, I be trying to mix stuff. And it's hard to mix when it's in a tube like this. But, yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like them on the show no more because they just used to be so different. And now they're, like, weird. And Sl Rock keep calling Slim ugly. Do y'all think Slim ugly? I think slim is slim like she's not cute but she's not ugly so like now it's the perfect shade and i like to do the concealer on top of my brows to be the same color as my skin tone and then the one under to be darker hold on y'all i can't talk for this part Dude, So, 
contour first and add dimension to my face first I don't know why I don't put con uh, con like foundation I just stay so bad I don't put foundation all over my face I just put it I just use concealer to like contour and stuff to my face but anyways let's talk about boys <laughs> so I just seen this um tweet actually like literally before I started watch before I started filming this video and this girl said that if she gonna cheat the least she gonna do is treat her man right and I thought that shit was funny as fuck and then it's not funny I don't cheat I don't cheat y'all but I thought it was funny because the comment said the nigga said um I'm sorry the boy said these women are turned into our granddaddies in front of our eyes. And that's so funny to me because if you really think about it, like, older men, when they cheated on their women, they took care of both other women. And I'm not saying that cheating is good and cheating should be normalized because it shouldn't. Cheating is very bad. But, like, these women are grimier than boys. I don't care. And I hate when girls say, oh... I'm tired of getting my heart broken by boys. I'm about to start talking to um girls. Girl, I promise you, girls are worse than boys. They are way worse. They don't care. Especially the ones that, it's a fucking oath outside. Especially the ones who have their heart broken before or the studs who think that they're boys. They act like niggas, like, my face is getting so far. But yeah, like, they act like boys. You know what I'm saying? Like, they try to do... And I feel like... And when I say they act like boys, I'm more so mean... How they treat a woman. Because I feel like a woman would treat a woman better solely based off of the fact that she's a woman you know what i'm saying like she understands how a woman should be catered to and loved to you know what i'm saying and all these other things Ooh, i have another thing i'll talk about <laughs> so i'm about to like switch the brakes real quick all right skirt right so this girl said that having a nigga that's going through it is a turn off she, and this girl was saying, like, I hate how, oh, and I take a lighter concealer than me to highlight under my eye. So, it's like a shade lighter. Like, two shades. Like, don't try to be funny in the comments. Because I don't want nobody saying I'm the same color as this. I'm not this light. I'm trying to play. <laughs> ah! Anyways, um... I seen this girl say like, oh, she don't want to deal with no man that's always sad and going through it. And the, then somebody said that and then somebody said that um, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so like 
like so focused. It's so hard to do a chit chat get rid of me. So then another girl said that she feels like that's a turn off. Like, and you're being wait, did I describe that right? Okay, so the tweet said I don't want to deal with no man that is always in his feelings and sad and all this other stuff. And that it has been normalized to be there for men when they're sad. Like it's been normalized to um for your nigga to have a bad day or some shit like that. I might be taking the um it out of context, but it was literally something around those lines. So I think I want natural light for y'all to see. How do I okay? Hold on. Cause this, cause the way I look in the mirror compared to this camera, I look like y'all can't see what's really going on. But anyway, so the girl said um, that it's been normalized and that men should keep it together. Basically, is what she said. Like she said that she don't want to be there for no man that's crying. Like she said, like you're less of a man because you're crying. And then this other girl has said, well. It's normal. Like, everybody has bad days and we should be there for them. And half of the uh, black man society has to cover up their emotions and just bottle them up, which is not good, which I agree with. It's not good. You're not supposed to bottle up your emotions because you're a man. And the girl, and another girl said, this is picketing as fuck. I don't want to deal with no man going through everything. Because I go, I have the, fuck, I went through depression before, and I've experienced having anxiety and all those things, and I feel like men have it too, you know what I'm saying, and I feel like a lot of the times when men overthink, or like anything like that, females feel like they're, they're being like bitches. Like, they have very, like, they're acting like a girl. Like, they not being a nigga. But I feel like it's natural to overthink. Everybody has emotions. Everybody has feelings. I feel like that was weird as fuck to me. Like, I don't know. Like, just because you're a man don't mean that you can't be sad. Just because you're a man don't mean that you can't overthink. Just because you're a man don't mean that you can't be reassured. I feel like in a relationship, everybody needs to be reassured at one point. Like, everybody can overthink. And I don't think that overthinking don't mean that you're not a man. Like, or not even just overthinking. Like, having a bad day, period, in general, don't mean that you're less of a man. I'm trying to, like, blend in this mom. I don't know if it's harsh, but it feels look like it's harsh and i just feel like that's just like really sad <laughs> how it is now like i don't think that makes you any less of a man like everybody overthinks i feel like that's natural that is natural human things you know what i'm saying like i don't know like do y'all not know that men have anxiety too Anxiety is not just for, it's not a woman thing. And I, oh, boom, here's another thing. I also feel like depression and anxiety has became a trend. Now, it has been more normalized, which I do like, because I feel like in the older days, like with our parents, everything, our generation parents, they didn't acknowledge what was going on, and they didn't know how to help themselves. And they just, like, you know, they just covered it up. Because if you bring up to your parents, like, now, nah, like, oh, I'm depressed. You ain't depressed. You don't know what that is. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like that. And I feel like it was carried down from generations to why they feel like that. Y'all, my face look good. I wish y'all could see that person. Like, in this mirror, compared to this camera, it's two different things. I look so much better in this fucking camera. I mean, mirror. Like, let me turn, take this off real quick. Ooh. I still look better in the mirror. Is it just me or, like, y'all? Whoa. 
I know I play with the lighting while I'm recording. <laughs> Y'all, we on FaceTime. Anyways, like. But yeah, like, I don't know. Y'all, I'm one of the people that drop that. Whoa. I'm one of the people that can jump from conversation to conversation. So, like, I'm sorry. Please just bear with me. It's just a habit. I hate talking about the same thing for too long. And I feel like my words never come out how I want them to come out. So, I'll be tired of talking about it. Like, I'll be ready to move on. <laughs> Would y'all ever date a rapper? Me, personally, I feel like I could never. So, y'all see this. This is highlight blush and um bronzer. But I'm just using the dark part because I don't like her extension. But, anyways, um, what's the bronzer part, I guess? But, like, y'all, um, would y'all ever date a rapper? Me, personally, I could never. Because <laughs> Jada waited, like, I feel like she has a lot going for herself. Oh, no. Let's talk about this real quick. I feel like a lot of y'all bitches need to stop reposting Jada Waiter and little baby talk about goals. Why do y'all think because somebody take a cute picture that they're goals? I don't want to be like none of these Instagram couples. None of them. Man, not a single, not a single one. Because I, and I don't really want to be this person. But I'm going to be this person. Do y'all really think that India is cheating on? I mean, do y'all really think that Dirk is loyal to India? Because, like, okay, let's talk about it. And when you listen to his songs and he talk about his girlfriend, y'all assume that he's, like, he really talking about his bitch. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Dirk be in the studio just talking sometimes. Like, the shit that he's saying in his songs don't make no sense. Sometimes, like, he be talking about some, they try to hold because I'm dark skin, he's brown skin. Like, <laughs> like, Dirk just definitely be talking sometimes. But, y'all just don't think he not, he's loyal to his bitch. He ain't even a good daddy. And he, he, and he admitted to it. Like, he admitted that he not a good father to some of his kids and he don't see all of his children. And y'all still, like, Fucking fantasize this man. You understand? Your love is on mine in a million. It goes on and on and on. You give, give, give. Your love is on mine in a million. It goes on and on and on. You give me a some of y'all will never like be able to grow you cannot grow if you don't understand how to self-evaluate like when a relationship ends a friendship ends with no explanation or not even no explanation like if it just why my lashes look different I think it's how I put it on. But if one situation ends or whatever, and you should always take the time, whether you were the problem or not, like let's say you just got you just got cheated on or something. You should always take the time to reevaluate something. 
and how you approach the situation, how you react to the situation. There's always something that you can evaluate. Like when you get cheated on, let's say when you get cheated on, you dog them, you say fuck your grandma, fuck your dad niggas, all that. That wasn't necessary. It wasn't. You was it wasn't. It wasn't booski like take your L, put your chin up and keep it pushing. That person has some growing to do. That person is not I feel like cheating is childish and it's it is what's the word I'm looking for? Cowardly. So that's the L on them themselves. You going out your way to tell them how you feel and doing all this other shit and sending these long paragraphs and da 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 da. It's not gonna make a difference. They cheated on you. They already showed you that they don't care. Granted, like they don't give a fuck about your feelings. Honestly, they don't. <laughs> like clearly they don't. You can always, even if, because I don't never think that when somebody gets cheated on, I don't think they're the problem. But I'm just like give, use an example. Every situation that you go through is you can reevaluate something and learn something about yourself. Every, I promise you, every situation, if you just sit down and just think about what you could have did differently, how you could have approached it differently, like how I just said earlier, because I'm about to repeat myself, it's always something that you can change. Like, I remember the first time that I got cheated on. I know I didn't do nothing to get cheated on. I didn't deserve to get cheated on. I did not deserve to get cheated on. But the way I reacted to me getting cheated on, I could I could just never do that again. Like if I get cheated on now, I'm be like, bet. And I'ma just flex up on them. Like I'ma just take my L and you you gonna see me one way or another. You gonna see me. And I'm gonna be prospering and, and all this other stuff. But yeah though, you just gonna be stuck. I forgot what I was talking about. But if you reevaluate every life situation that you be in, you're going to learn something about yourself and become more self-aware of everything that you do. The way I reacted when I got cheated on, I literally, I stayed and I cheated back. And I would never do that now because it don't, it don't make you hurt any less. It don't put no hurt into them. They cheated on you. They don't care. So it's really not... Getting your lick back as in cheating is stupid as fuck. Like, when somebody, like, okay, boom. Let's say somebody you fucking with fucked your friend and then you fucked his friend. You just fucked somebody's friend for no reason. Like, that did not do shit to him except for go back home to his butt to his home boys and laugh at your dumb ass because you just fucked both of them. Like, they're not about to sit down and cry about that shit. They don't care, boo. I promise you. They don't. Like, and you thinking that getting your lick back and cheating back is, some, is immature. And I can say that because when I was younger... I cheated back, and I was immature, and I thought that it would hurt them. It don't. They, they don't care. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, here's the face. I need to stop turning the camera because it's not cute. Old. Here's the face. And this is not... I feel like I always have on too much lip gloss. This is not a full glam beat. This is just a, what is this? This is literally my everyday. Like all I did was conceal contour. All I did was conceal with contour, do my brows and put on blush. That's literally all I did. And this is how you look. Yes, and lip liner, of course, because boom. But yeah, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm about to go get dressed. 
and be about bitch and edit this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if there's anything that you guys want to see out of me make sure you guys just tell me and i will provide i got y'all anything that y'all want to see i definitely am working on my vlogs because i definitely want to get some vlogs out for you all so yeah make sure you guys like come subscribe follow me on instagram and yeah love you guys so so so